Hey hi hello namaste welcome to CR and designer Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to make a kitchen knife why did i choose the kitchen knife because we can learn a lot more things from the real life object so that's why we are going to make a realistic kitchen knife so now let's get started to make this kind of kitchen knife you need to open your blend file and then add a plane so shift a and then add a plane Okay then you can go to the top view and you need to first block out the basic form for your knife so just scale it along the y axis okay after scaling the y axis you will be able to give it a little bit of width and then go to the edit mode and then add a center loop cut like this and now you need to think about the shape of your knife how it should be uh, about its form so according to that you need to start to work on the this 2d planar shape Okay so that's why you need to select these words and you need to move them along the y axis just to create the basic shape for the knife because first we are going to make a 2d and then we will extrude it and create a 3d form or we can use the solidify modifier also so that's why just move these words along the y axis and create a basic form at there okay then you need to select this edge and just extrude it little bit okay along the y axis and now we just select these words and then add a bevel on these words and turn that vertex option affect the vertex option and give the proper width and proper segment so you will get the curve form at there so we can maintain make a curve shape at there so that's why just you will get little bit of weird result so here you need to edit the topology in a right way so make sure if i dissolve this edge completely edges then i will lose that word so that's why you need to move these words pr properly and then create a right topology and then you can remove the edges so that's also another thing okay just create a basic shape so that's why i am moving these uh, words along the y axis and then add a necessary word so you can use the subdivision for that or, or just control r then you can add a word also and you can see i keep the, those edges at there because if i remove those edges then i will lose the words you can see so that's why first you need to add the look uh, vertex here and then select these words right click and connect vertex path and create a right topology at their core base topology and double tap g to for the edge slide or vertex slide select that particular words and double tap g for that Okay then you need to move your words little bit here and there just to make a proper curve shape so that's why you need to move these words and now you need to add the loop uh, vertex over here so control r to just add the loop cuts i have fast forward this video because it is little bit lengthy process and just you need to maintain the curve shape over here so you can move these words along the x axis and create a curve shape so it will be the sharper edge of that knife and then you need to use the knife tool and create a cut like this and create a curve based topology that's easy just select first point select the second point and then press enter in this way you can use the knife tool and just move the words here and there you need to tweak these words here and there just to maintain that good curve shape okay then you need to add the loop cuts like this along the y axis and then right click and connect vertex path and create a chord based topology then you need to add the necessary loop cuts and here i will trans uh, change that edge flow as you can see and i will give the different direction for that edge flow because i want a right edge flow at there for that to make that sharper edge so that's why i have switched this edge flow and now just you need to move the words here and there and just try to maintain the curve shape at there and now that's look good so this is just a simple block out for the 2d 2d block out for that knife blade and then shift d for the backup and i always like to create a backup collection and just give the backup collection at name at there and create a backup because in case if you lose that uh, model then you will have that backup collection okay and now you can see we got the right edge flow for that sharper edge which we have created this face loop you can see so that's important you should know where you want which kind of face loop okay and then you need to add the solidify modifier on this particular blade part because we want to make a it 3d 
and give the proper thickness so we will get a form form uh, from this 2d planar shape for the blade and now you need to think about how will you create the later part like that hard edge we have the edge flow at there face loops at there proper face loops okay and now you can see i have to work on this so i need to apply that solidify modifier so give the proper thickness and then apply that solidify modifier because there is not any other option you can extrude it or you can apply that solid solidify modifier so adjust the thickness and then apply that solidify modifier and now just you need to scale it down along the z axis so just select this edge loop and make sure you, i don't want the complete edge loop I don't want to scale it completely along the z axis. So that's why I I want to scale them in this part. So just select this edge loops. So you can uh, shift select and then scale it along the z axis. Just deselect these edges. We don't want to uh, scale them along the z axis. So just select these proper edges and then scale them along the z axis. And that's easy. That's not difficult. So just scale them along the z axis so we will get that sharper edge which we can see in the real life knife am i right and then give the proper scale at there and it is like a work like a uh, trial and error press methods so you need to give the proper scale and you need to do the more tries Okay then you need to add the loop cuts like this because we will make that edge sharper so that's why more loop cuts are necessary and then i want to create the connecting part which will connect the which which part will help us to connect this blade to the handle so that's why before that just add this scale So scale these edges along the z axis because it is the end part of that blade and now you need to adjust the scale like this select these edges and then scale them along the z axis like this because we want to make that taper shape so that's why we need to scale them along the z axis so it will like uh, the at the end of that knife point pointed shape it will go closer means like a Uh, smaller along the z axis so that's why you need to scale them along the z axis and now that's look good now select these faces and this will uh, this faces will help us to connect this part to the handle so that's why you need to scale them along the z axis so just scale them along the z axis and now that's look good now you need to add the subd modifier but uh, make sure you see check your model in a proper way and just add one more cylinder here and this cylinder will help us to create a handle to get the size for the handle okay so just add a cylinder like this and then scale it along the x axis and just this handle is only for the guide we will create the handle later on Okay now you need to select these edges and now you need to adjust the scale them uh, adjust their scale along the z axis and then set it origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3d cursor and just move this along the x axis a little bit okay now select these faces and then scale them along the z axis and then just increase the height of this handle little bit and then you need to use the loop tool we can go with the loop tool but we will get a little bit of weird results so that's why you need to scale these words along the z axis so that's why you need to add the more loop cuts and just try to maintain the proper shape at there that's not difficult so just you need to add the more loop cuts and scale them along the z axis and try to create the proper connecting shape 
so as you can see in the video and you need to do this manually and then you can add the subdivision surface modifier so add that sub modifier and add a necessary loop cuts wherever it's you feel that here should be the loop cuts here i want a harder edges so that's why you need to add the loop cuts at there so just add more loop cuts edges this supportive edges help us to maintain the right form for the mesh and here you need to maintain the edge flow also as you can see the connecting part at the at the part of the connecting i have managed the edge flow in a proper way it is little bit fast because it takes little bit time to maintain that proper edge flow and then you need to select these faces and extrude them along the y axis a little bit okay so as you can see the handle part is inside that metal part and it will be like a metal part of the blade and we will fix our handle inside that metal piece and you can see the edge flow i have diverted that edge flow so that's also the important thing how you able to manage that edge flow and then take a knife tool and create a slant cut like this select first point then press z and then select the second point and then press enter then select these faces and press x for delete them okay and we don't need these faces so you can delete these faces also and then select this edge loop and you can extrude it one more time so just extrude it a little bit and now you can see that's look good and now you need to add a one more cylinder at there with a the 12 words because it will work as a handle and we will create handle from this cylinder okay so then just you need to turn on your extreme mode and delete the words we don't need them and then just you need to select the words just recalculate that's normal orientation then select the words and then right click and then connect vertex path and then delete this edges we don't need these edges or you can words and then select these words and then right click connect vertex path and then just select these words right click and then connect vertex path and create a 2d shape for your handle as according to the size of that cylinder which we have taken for the block out okay just you need to maintain uh, manage the position of this uh, handle and this cylinder part will help you and then you need to first create a basic 2d shape for the handle so just adjust the scale little bit and then select these edges and then you need to move them along the y axis so just extrude it and then move them along the y axis and now that's look good you can hide that cylinder we don't need it and now you need to create a 3d from from this 2d shape so just adjust the scale little bit adjust the position of the handle and if it's look good fine then you can extrude it or you can add the solidify modifier on it so but before that just adjust the scale and height and all these things and then add a solidify modifier on this handle piece and then increase the thickness and give the proper thickness for this handle and for that also that block out cylinder will help you to find out the proper thickness for that handle so give the proper thickness for the handle and then go to the edit mode and then just hide that cylinder we don't need it and then go to the edit mode and then select this edge loop 
because we want to create the taper shape so apply that solidify modifier and then select this edge loops make sure the transform orientation should be face orientation should be right blue then select this edge loops and then you can add a bevel on this edge loops so add a bevel little bit bevel and now that's look good and one more time you need to connect these two parts together so that's why you need to tweak the words and edges here and there that's the little bit uh, longer process and which takes a little bit more time and then just add a bevel on this handle and then add a proper segments and now you need to fix these two parts together so just scale it down little bit along the z axis and now that's look good and then add a subdivision surface modifier on it and you can see we got the weird result because there the topology is not right so we need to create the right topology add there so you can select these words and then right click and then connect to vertex path and try to create a chord based topology then select these faces and then you need to press i for the insert operation and then add one more loop cut at there edge loop which will support the mesh and now the handle looks pretty well decent just increase the level viewports in the subdi modifier and now turn on that blade and now we need to connect these two parts together so you can see it's look good but we need we can see the little bit of gap at there so that's why we need to move this blade words little bit down so you, as you can see or you can either you can increase the height of this handle or you can decrease the height of that blade means add particular that part so select this edge loop and then you need to select these words and then press scale them along the z axis so you can press s and z and 0 give the value 0 so select these words also press s then z and then give the value 0 okay you need to do the same thing and then scale it down along the z axis a little bit and now you can see yeah the height is little bit low but yeah we can try to work on it so we need to work on it this little bit because it's a curved form so that's why it's quite difficult so just adjust the scale along the z axis now just select this face here i'm trying to fill that gap that i don't want that gap should look in the final ready product so that's why just need to adjust the scale so just select this faces and then you can adjust the scale so just i am moving these words little bit down so that's why you can select these edges and then scale them along the z axis like this and according to the form of that handle according to the form of the handle you can move these edges little bit down along the z axis this is a little bit fast forward because it will, it has taken a lot of time for me also to fill that gap and maintain the right edge flow 
and create a good decent look at for that part so that's why you need to move this edges and the words here and there along the z axis and by the way that's this tutorial was for if i dean fast forward this tutorial then it will be like one uh, one r plus so the size of the duration of this tutorial will be more than one hour if i didn't fast forward it so that's why i have fast forwarded these steps a little bit okay now just need to move the words here and there along the x axis and just try to build the basic curve shape at there try to give the right form good form for your model and then add a necessary loop cuts if you feel that i want this part is hard then you can add that's why you need to observe the real life object so i observed the knives and its reference images and then i decided to make something like this now you can see i am selecting these faces and just to make it straight along the z axis so scale it along the z axis with the scale tool and now just add the loop cuts wherever is necessary and now you can see that here we need to use the knife tool because if i turn off that extreme mode then you can see if i create a right topology at there so press i for the insert operation and then select these words and then right click and then connect to vertex path so you can see the weirdness at there because this words goes little bit in inward direction you can see the top of the shape that form it's not look good it's not a particular straight proper straight so that's something like this happen so that's why i need to do something else so just add one more loop cut here with the knife tool with a proper cut so use the knife tool for that and this is the right cut you can select these faces and then press x to delete these faces and we don't need that then we can keep it as it is basically i want to show you uh, i wanted to show that you if you create the right topology over here and you try to create something like that you won't get the proper shape so that's why i have recreated this topology and now it's look good now you can see that's look good then select these faces and then press i for the insert operation and now you can't say it looks uh, weird it is giving a weird result because of that knife tool we are able to create this and then add one more cut like this and now that's look good decent you can see after turning on that sub d modifier and then turn on that cylinder part like a handle part and now here one i want to create a little bit of design so i can use knife tool here to create that slant cut so take your knife to select the first point and then press z and then select second point and then hit enter and create the cut like this and that's look good okay if you press v then you uh, you can uh, remove that object like and then select these faces select that edge loop and then add a bevel on that particular edge and then select these faces and then you need to extrude it out so extrude it along the normals and then little bit of weird things you will get so that's why just you need to uh, move the words here and there so i'm doing this step one more time so just move this uh, edge loop little bit along the y axis and then i decided to add one more loop cut at there with the knife tool and then i will try to select these faces okay so then select these faces so you can press alt and then shift select these faces or alt and click then select these faces and then extrude it along the normal 
and then just give the proper offset at there. And you can see a little bit of weirdness we have got here. And that's why we need to move the words along the y-axis and we need to maintain that proper slant cut. So if I try to move that, uh, try to scale that whole edge loop, then it won't possible because it is a slant cut. If it will be the straight cut, then there won't be a problem. But it is a slant cut in a diagonal, uh, like uh, in a different direction. So like a diagonal X. So that's why you need to move the words along the Y axis manually. And just try to maintain those H like overlaps each other. So that's why just you need to move these words along the Y axis. So try to create such kind of real life object because if you are trying to create the real life object, then you can learn a lot and try to create as it is them. Like if I say in Hindi, like uh, in Indian language, Unnis Bish Chalta hai. Like in, uh, but at least try to match their form. And when you will try to create same as like a photocopy, then you will try to push yourself and you will try to make it more realistic and you will learn a lot from that. And now you can see that's look decent. Decent hard surface modeling we have done here. And just add one cylinder here like it will give the look like a bolt and which will look decent and just for the design purpose. So that's why you can add one more cylinder here and then increase its height along the z-axis and then fix it over here. And that's not difficult, just simple. And then add a loop cut like this and add one more loop cut here. Then select these faces and then you can extrude it along the normal. So just extrude it along the normal. And then add subdivision surface modifier here. And then select these faces and then press I for the insert operation. Select this face and then press I for the insert operation. And then select this uh, words and then right click and then connect vertex path. And then create the chord based topology at there. Then select everything and then mesh symmetrize. Just uh, add one more loop at there with the insert operation. Just add more loop cuts on this particular mesh. So try different kind of objects which are there around your uh, surrounding you and which are like a hard surface and try to make them and learn from them. Improve your observation, observe those hard surface model and try to create them. So you will learn a lot from this real life object and that's look good, decent. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.